Dynasties have risen and fallen. Some burnt books and destroyed libraries, but the spirit of knowledge was never lost. There were beacons of light to preserve our teachings. Carrying out the missions of the Prophet in guiding people, their status has been elevated, and their names inscribed in the books of history for eternity. More valuable than gold, they are our scholars, and the pillars upon which our understanding of faith stands. They are wonderful for a million reasons, but mostly because they can take us to the land of the Ever After, the place we know as Heaven. Once upon a time, there was a great scholar called Mullah Sabzawari, who owned land and wealth on which he took out zakat, charity, and distributed it amongst the poor personally. Every Thursday he had an appointment with the needy and the distressed so that he would fulfill their wishes. On the last three days of the month of Safar, he would have a gathering for Imam Hussein alayhi salam where he invited the poor. A man would be chosen from amongst them to recite in the gathering, a man who was not known in society. The mullah wanted to give people a chance to recite, and after that he would distribute the food and money to each and every poor man. It is said that in his youth, the mullah inherited a lot of properties, yet he sold shops and houses and distributed his health to the poor. He repeated the same procedure in his old age. The Quran says that one should not be over charitable that when he dies, his orphans are left with nothing. If it was not for this verse, the mullah would have given all of his wealth away. Yet another example of a man who lived to do greatness, a man who lived for the sake of Allah, a scholar famous for extreme generosity and acts of charity, an example for us to live by. So at the end of time, when the day of resurrection approaches and all those on earth will be subject to questioning, when God Almighty will call upon the scholar and then upon the worshiper, he will tell the worshiper to go to heaven and he will tell the scholar to take those he or she have trained with them. And like that, even the student will be granted the everlasting reward of paradise for merely following the teachings of a great scholar.